With the custom task endpoint, you can instruct Lemur to complete any task that you pass to it through a prompt. To start with, make sure you have an Assembly AI API key. If you don't already have it, you can go to assemblyai.com and get a free API key. So the first thing that we want to make sure is that the Assembly AI Python SDK is installed. And I can install it using pip. Next, I want to import the Assembly AI SDK and then set the API key here, settings.api key. And then I'm going to create a transcriber object using assembly AI. And using this transcriber object, I'm going to create a transcript group. So I will call the transcribe group. And now I can pass one or more MP3 files or any other audio file. Um, to be transcribed by assembly AI. The ones I'm going to use today are example1.mp3 and example2.mp3. These are um, audios or audio files that are stripped from uh, two videos of Casey Neinstadt. If you don't know him, he's a famous YouTuber. In these videos, he's talking about coming back to New York, his experience about coming back to New York from California and uh, his experience about traveling through New York. So let's take a look at what kind of parameters we can set with the custom task endpoint. First of all, you need to pass a transcript ID or IDs to this endpoint. If you're using the Python SDK like we're doing right now, it will be passed automatically. So you do not have to do that separately. But if you're using anything else other than the Python SDK, then you're going to have to uh, pass the transcript IDs to the endpoint. You can specify the final model that you want to use. The options are either the default model or the basic model. Default model is chosen by default. So if you do not specify anything, it will be chosen. And the max output size by default is 2000, but you can set it up to being 4000 tokens. And the other thing that we can set is the prompt parameter. Uh, as you can see, we do not have a context parameter for the custom task endpoint It's because through the prompt parameter, we can pass all the information that we want to the endpoint, to Lemur. So let's set up parameters. And I'm going to set up prompt. The prompt that I thought of before was provide an analysis of the transcript, give a short summary of what the videos are about, and then find three sentences in the videos that capture the essence of these videos. And then like all the others, we're going to call Lemur on top of our transcript group. And on Lemur, I'm going to choose the task endpoint and pass the parameters to it. Then we can print the results. All right, let's see. So transcript one, it says, is about a man discussing the various modes of transportation in New York City and how difficult they can be when traveling with young children. And the three sentences that it thinks, Lemur thinks, are the essence of these videos, of this video is, New York City offers many ways to get around, but they are not ideal for families with kids. The man struggles with taking his two daughters to school using the available options. He finds an electric tri tricycle built for three that seems to be the perfect solution for his transportation needs, which is exactly what the video is talking about um, and the three things that are the main points of this video, which is great. And this brings us to the end of our tutorial series for Lemur. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to leave them down below so we can get to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.